what's good, Granny Gang? It's Jangrody back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna see can you really get fly on a budget? Now, I seen some people coming in under my videos and was like, all oh, the clothes that you're showing is dope, but like I still can't afford them. And I know not everything that I show is in everybody's price range. So today, I got some stuff from Forever 21, so shout out to them, which is mad cheap so we gonna basically go get that box i'm gonna hang it up on here and we gonna see can you get fly on the budget man let's get it hey yo real quick man i repeat my pumas man i wore them to the lyrical lemonade show in chicago this weekend and people was going crazy so yo so it should already be a known fact but if you got some good shoes don't wear them to a festival um but that joint was mad lit though so i'm not mad at it i'm just cleaning the shoes but I'm gonna cut to that clip real quick because that mug was crazy. So we got the box here, and it's basically a bunch of their newer stuff. They got some of the Wilson collabs or some stuff like that, rainbow pants. But I'm gonna just hang it up real quick so so y'all can really see it. Alright, now this is everything that I got from Forever 21. This is stuff that I personally picked out that I thought was kind of like the best of their selection or like, I don't know, the coolest of their selection or just my taste in general. But now to give a quick background on retailers similar to like Forever 21 or Zara or H&M is these retailers are pretty much fast fashion retailers. And if you know about the fashion industry, you know fast fashion is pretty much, they take whatever's trendy or what's hot at the moment and they'll kind of like make the cheapest, most affordable version of it to give out to the masses of people. Which is kind of dope because for people who are on a budget or can't really afford whatever is hottest right now, they can kind of go to these stores and kind of get the same type of look. Now to crack it off, we got this Wilson Polo that I actually think is really, really dope. Um, first of all, Wilson is kind of like an OG brand, so it's cool to see them do a collaboration with Forever 21. And I just personally liked how the ribbing was kind of like that three colored tone. It's kind of, it's not a rainbow, but it's like, you know what I'm saying, y'all y'all looking at it. You see what I'm talking about. But I just think that was a nice combination with the white polo because it accents it just a little bit to where it's still a white polo, but you can also like mix in some different colors, which I just talked about in my color black video. But next we got this Wilson Windbreaker. Now this Windbreaker is actually really, really fire. Um, windbreakers kind of don't have any different type of material so paying for this you're, you're pretty much getting a solid windbreaker um, but it's overall I think the color blocking was dope I'm not sure if it's reversible but in the inside if you unzip this you can see that it has like a Wilson print all over it um, that kind of has like a blue base and then um, red and white branding on it in the inside so overall i think this is super dope for that fall season when it might rain or um get a little bit chilly you kind of have something that's lightweight but will still kind of like keep you protected so next we got these super soft like elastic polyester sweatpants that are just really dope because they're kind of like a they're not bell bottom but they have like a super wide bottom to it and i just think it looks dope it's kind of like a 80s vibe 70s 80s vibe but um I just think that they're mad comfortable just because you can see, you can kind of see that stretch on them. So that's, these is fire, right? And they red. So y'all know I got a couple of red pair of pants, but I'm gonna just go ahead and add these to the collection. Next we got this t-shirt that says power to the people. Now this, t if you get t-shirts from them, they're probably mad cheap. Like this was probably under $15 or something like that, but it still has that trendy university graphic that I see a lot of brands using nowadays. It has a white outline with red text going through it so everything on this tee kind of pops and you can't really tell what brand it is or what it really you know you get what i'm saying like 
it, it looks really modern and up to date with the t-shirts that are out right now. Now next up is probably my favorite thing out of all of this stuff just because I personally was trying to get them for forever and I kind of just forgot about them but they're these rainbow stri um, striped track pants and I first seen them on Ian Connor. I know y'all all seen these joints on Ian Connor. Um, but I seen them on him and I was like, yo, I gotta get those. And at the time it was like nobody really had them or you can get them off grail for like way more than you should probably be paying for some track pants. But um, I just thought that these were super dope. I know a lot of other people wore them as well. I think, uh, I think Kylie had wore a pair and everybody was trying to get on that wave and maybe like Tyga or somebody. But yeah, I seen these and I was like, yo, I gotta go ahead and scoop them. Y'all know track pants is been in style for a minute now so I'm super I'm looking forward to styling these and putting them with some dope so now next up we got the super simple tee that says dangerous but fun but what you can't really see right off the bat is that it has velour letters on it which is a nice touch so um that kind of surprised me when I got the shirt because I was like all right they just screen printed it on there but the fact that they kind of like went a little bit more into detail and put that on there was just a nice touch getting towards the end we got this full zip hoodie and this bleach acid wash colorway which is actually really dope because it kind of looks like all one color from afar mixing that green and that black together but I think this hoodie is really versatile especially for this up-and-coming fall so I definitely had to scoop it. It has this print at the back, which is kind of hard to read, but it kind of makes it dope at the same time. And it's not black nor this green. It's kind of like an olive right in the middle. But um, yeah, man, it just says, I don't even know what it says, actually. I don't know, but it says World Tour 1978 down here. Yeah, man, but uh, I'll, I'll show closer closer looks at this hoodie but I just think it was really dope and kind of has that that grunge look you know what I'm saying now keeping them fall vibes we got this cardigan now this cardigan is unique from any other cardigan that I have for one it's mad thin it kind of feels like a scarf a little bit but it just has a different look that you don't see in most cardigans and it's super lightweight but it's still kind of like cozy for the fall you know what I'm saying so this was super clean you can pair it with anything that's like maybe black maybe a white t-shirt under it but overall it's dope now last we got another wilson collab keeping that tennis vibe we got this all terry cloth sweater and it has this red white and blue cuffs on it which kind of just reminds me of when tennis players wear like the headbands and the wristbands and all that um so that that was kind of dope um i can see where they're getting their inspiration from but overall it's another fall piece and it's super lightweight this material is like, I don't even know if you can, if I can like show how thin it is, but but I think it's still a clean piece and it's still lightweight, especially for the price, like, you know what I'm saying? You're not really paying too much for it, so it's dope. So that's pretty much it for this Forever 21 haul, I guess you can call it, but I just wanted to show you guys that there is like way cheaper options to go and buy new clothes for, um, but you do have to take into consideration that you're literally getting what you pay for. So if something's like 15 or $20, just know that the materials are probably gonna be really thin and they're kind of just getting something to make it to where you can afford it, you know what I'm saying? So take that into consideration, but you can still go shop and get some dope stuff that will kind of still be in the trend so you won't feel left out if you don't have a lot of money. But besides that, that's it for the video. I got more stuff coming soon. I got more projects coming soon, so um, I'm working on some more clothing pieces, so if you guys want to be interested in that, you can check out my website. The link will be down in the description, of course, but I might be closing it down soon just so I can kind of like prepare for that. So if you want like a, the Grundy clone tees, those are still available. Um, but I'm going to be making new stuff. So that's pretty much it for the video. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for sharing and just enjoying the content because I enjoy making it for y'all. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be back to you with more. Peace. Okay, I'm a little cooler. Okay, I don't need a shooter. I got a clock with a ruler. These are not fun of a guess.